Have you ever wondered how to generate passive income with cryptocurrencies? It's a tantalizing prospect, isn't it? The idea of your digital assets quietly working away in the background, effortlessly increasing your wealth. That's the allure of passive income in the crypto world, a promise that has caught the attention of many. So, let's delve into the heart of the matter. The shining stars of our conversation today are none other than liquidity pools and yield farming. These two concepts have emerged as prominent avenues for earning passive income in the crypto space. They offer a way for you to put your crypto to work, generating returns without the need for active trading or market speculation. Imagine your cryptocurrencies, not just sitting idle in your wallet, but actively earning for you. It's a compelling image, right? So stay tuned. In the next few minutes, we'll unravel how you can put your crypto assets to work with liquidity pools and yield farming. So, what exactly are liquidity pools? Well, imagine you're at a party and there's a bowl of punch. Everyone's having a great time, but the punch is running low. So, you decide to contribute and pour in some of your own. In return, you get a share of the party's fun. That's essentially what a liquidity pool is. It's a pot of tokens held in a smart contract, used to facilitate trading by providing liquidity. Now, if we go back to our party analogy, the punch bowl is the liquidity pool, and the punch itself represents the tokens. And just like how your contribution to the punch bowl earned you a share of the fun, in a liquidity pool, you earn a share of the transaction fees. This is where the concept of liquidity providers, or LPs, comes into play. LPs are the ones who fill the pool with their tokens. They provide the liquidity that allows users to trade between different tokens. In return for their service, they earn transaction fees. Think of it as a toll booth on a busy highway. The more cars that pass through, or in this case, the more transactions that take place, the more the toll collector earns. So, if you're the kind of person who likes to sit back and watch your investments grow, this could be a great opportunity for you. It's like owning a piece of a toll booth on a busy highway, earning passive income from every car that passes through. But it's not just about earning fees. In the world of decentralized exchanges, liquidity pools play a critical role. They make the magic of instant trades possible. Without liquidity pools, users would have to find someone willing to trade exactly what they're offering for exactly what they want, which isn't always easy or even possible. But with liquidity pools, trades can happen instantly because there's always a pool of tokens ready to be swapped. So you might be thinking, this sounds great, where do I sign up? But hold your horses, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While liquidity pools offer a unique way to earn income, they also come with their own set of risks. The most significant of these is something called impermanent loss. Impermanent loss can occur when the price of your deposited tokens changes compared to when you deposited them. If the price goes up, you could have made more by just holding onto your tokens rather than providing liquidity. It's a complex concept, but don't worry, we'll delve into it in the next scene. So to sum up, liquidity pools are a vital component of decentralized exchanges, providing the necessary liquidity for instant trades. By contributing to these pools, liquidity providers can earn transaction fees, creating possibilities for passive income. Liquidity pools offer a unique way to earn income, but they also come with risks like impermanent loss. Let's delve into that next. Impermanent loss sounds ominous, doesn't it? But what does it really mean? In the world of cryptocurrency, impermanent loss is a phenomenon unique to liquidity providers in decentralized exchanges. It's the potential loss you risk incurring when providing liquidity in a pool. Let's break it down. In essence, impermanent loss happens when the price ratio of your pool tokens diverges in any direction from when you deposited them. If you're scratching your head, don't worry. Imagine you're providing liquidity for a pool with two assets, say Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, if the price of Bitcoin skyrockets while Ethereum stays the same, the ratio of Bitcoin to Ethereum in the pool changes. This is because traders will buy the cheaper Bitcoin from your pool until the prices balance out. Now you might be thinking, hey, doesn't that mean I'm missing out on potential profits? And you'd be correct. This is the essence of impermanent loss, the difference between holding tokens in an AMM and holding them in your wallet. So why is it called impermanent? Well, if the price ratio of your tokens returns to the original state when you first provided liquidity, the loss is effectively erased. But let's be real, in the fast-paced world of crypto, that's a big if. The impact of impermanent loss can be significant. It can eat into your profits, or worse, turn them into losses. So while you're earning trading fees by providing liquidity, impermanent loss can be the rain on your passive income parade. But it's not all doom and gloom. 
Understanding impermanent loss is the first step in managing it, and there are strategies to mitigate its effects. This is where yield farming comes into play. Yield farming can help offset the risks of impermanent loss. By earning yield farming rewards, you can potentially cover any losses incurred and even come out on top with a tidy profit. Now that we understand the risks, let's explore how to mitigate them through yield farming. What if I told you there's a way to potentially offset the risks of liquidity pools? Enter yield farming. Yield farming, also known as liquidity mining, is a method to earn rewards from cryptocurrency capital investments. It's a process that involves you as an investor, lending your funds to others through the magic of smart contracts. In return, you earn fees in the form of crypto tokens. This concept is a significant part of the decentralized finance or DeFi sector, where it's all about earning passive income on your crypto assets. But what's the purpose of yield farming? Well, it's twofold. First, it's about maximizing returns. This is the farming part of yield farming. Just like a farmer plants seeds to reap a harvest later, you're putting your assets to work to yield returns over time. Second, it's about incentivizing liquidity provision. In the world of DeFi, liquidity is king. Yield farming encourages users to add funds to liquidity pools. If you recall from our earlier discussion, these pools are essentially the backbone of many DeFi applications. They allow for instant trades, stable coin issuance, and much more. Now, how does yield farming potentially offset the risks of liquidity pools? Remember the dreaded impermanent loss we talked about? Well, the rewards you earn from yield farming can help compensate for potential losses. If the farming rewards are substantial, they could even outpace the losses, leading to net positive returns. But here's a word of caution. While yield farming can be lucrative, it's also complex and risky. The DeFi space is highly volatile, and the value of farm tokens can fluctuate wildly. Not to mention smart contracts while revolutionary are still prone to bugs and exploits. Yield farming sounds promising, right? But how exactly does one get started? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the practical steps for embarking on your yield farming journey in our next segment. Getting started with yield farming involves a few key steps. Firstly, you'll need to decide on the right platform for your yield farming venture. There are many platforms available, including Uniswap, SushiSwap, PancakeSwap, and others. Each platform has its own unique features and benefits, so it's important to choose the one that best aligns with your goals. Some platforms may offer higher yields, while others may focus on offering more stable returns. Once you've chosen your platform, the next step is to provide liquidity. You'll do this by depositing an equal value of two tokens into the platform's liquidity pool. For example, if you're using a platform that pairs Ethereum and USDT, you'll need to deposit an equal value of both these tokens. This is an essential step, as it's the liquidity provided by users like you that allows these platforms to operate. Providing liquidity isn't without its risks though. When you deposit your tokens, you're exposing yourself to the possibility of impermanent loss. This is a potential loss that can occur if the price of the tokens in the pool changes significantly. To mitigate this risk, you can choose to provide liquidity to pools that contain stablecoins as their prices are less likely to fluctuate. After you've provided liquidity, you'll receive LP tokens in return. These tokens represent your share of the liquidity pool and can be used to earn rewards. This is where the yield farming part comes in. The next step is to stake your LP tokens. Staking simply means depositing your tokens into a smart contract on the platform. Once your tokens are staked, you'll start earning rewards. These rewards typically come in the form of additional tokens, which are automatically added to your account. The amount of rewards you'll earn depends on a few factors. These include the total amount of liquidity in the pool, the number of tokens you've staked, and the platform's reward rate. The more tokens you stake, and the longer you leave them staked, the more rewards you're likely to earn. Finally, it's important to monitor your investment regularly. The world of crypto is fast-paced and constantly evolving, so it's crucial to stay informed about any changes that could affect your yield farming venture. This includes changes in token prices, updates to platform policies, and shifts in market trends. And there you have it. You're now ready to start yield farming. But remember, always do your own research. The more informed you are, the better decisions you'll be able to make. So dive in, explore, and start reaping the benefits of yield farming. Let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned today. We embarked on a journey through the fascinating world of cryptocurrency, specifically focusing on the potential for generating passive income. We explored liquidity pools, 
delved into the concept of impermanent loss and took a deep dive into yield farming. We started by understanding the promise of passive income in crypto. We saw how the crypto world is not just about buying low and selling high. It's also about smartly leveraging your existing assets to create a steady stream of income. Next, we cast a spotlight on liquidity pools. We discovered that these pools are essentially a pot of tokens locked in a smart contract. They are used to facilitate trading by providing liquidity, and they earn their liquidity providers, that's you, transaction fees as a reward. We also uncovered the concept of impermanent loss. This is the loss you can face when the price of your deposited tokens changes compared to when you deposited them into the pool. It's called impermanent because it's not realized until you withdraw your liquidity. Then we ventured into the realm of yield farming. We learned that yield farming is essentially about getting a return on your crypto assets. It's a little like putting money in a savings account, but in this case, you're lending your crypto assets to earn interest. We also walked through the steps to start yield farming. This process includes choosing a yield farming platform, depositing your crypto assets, and monitoring your investment. With the right knowledge and strategy, you can potentially generate passive income in the crypto world. Remember, the crypto market is volatile and involves risks. Always invest wisely and stay informed. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.